Ruth. Ruth. Aunt Ruth. You know, they always used to say Aunt Ruth. It was a Ruth. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a relative. She says hi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Who do you want to connect with? Your mom? Mom. Ma yeah. Dad. Okay. I mean. We'll talk with your mom first. Yep. <laughs> but it's cool because Ruth says, again, she was kind of an icon in the family. Yeah, and it she just, was in yes. that part of yes. the family. She right. is. So she's the first one to say hello. Okay. But I'll talk to your mom too. Um, had you had you colored your hair within the past week or so, or had you been working with the cut and the color of it and well, all it's, that? It's been dark for a few years now. Mm -hmm. She likes that change on you, though. <laughs> she says it, and you feel more confident. It's not about the color. It's about, oh, uh, your mom says it's not about the color. It's about how you feel mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. And she says there's just a lightness to you, even when your hair's darker. And she wants you to always feel confident in yourself. She says so many people in the family rely on you to be that joy. Like you just bring that ease and trust. And she says that's your gift. It, she just loves that about you so, so, so much. There are, there's, there's sometimes trials, but she says beyond the trials there's truth. And you have that truth in you. And you remember that everything works out okay. And so much of her spirit ignited that truth in you, in your heart when she passed. That you just have felt so strong. And she says just continue knowing that she's the one uh, giving you that spirit and that faith to keep going and to keep going and to keep loving. There's an, an R, like besides Ru Ruth, there's another lady with an R who's here, like Rhonda um, or Rebecca, who's friends with you or who's connected with you. It could be Regina um, or Roberta. You'll think of who she is, but she's a friend. Your mom says she's someone who supports you. Again, she's still physically living. And there's two other children. You have two children. She has two children. Yeah, she says she sends love to both of them. Yeah, did one of them have a friend like Rebecca or Becky? Yes. 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 Yeah. It's very special, Rebecca. Yeah, it's yes, Rebecca. it's Rebecca. I told you, she says she's a very... She's still here. Right, yeah. right. She says she's a very special part of the family and just wants to acknowledge her. I don't know if one of your children has traveled overseas or if they're talking about going overseas or making a pretty big travel. Um, not that I'm aware of. It may come in the next year or so. <laughs> yeah. I just want you to have the heads up because your mom says there's some bi pretty big travel coming. But to just know that no matter what, everybody always comes home safe. Okay. So if they say, I'm Guess planning on traveling next year. Oh, well, it's you. Actually, yes. That's overseas, yes, yes. Well, yes. children. <laughs> but yeah, no, it'll be a great trip. And I'm traveling too, but not with her. But Two yeah. separate. Two separate yeah. places. She's yes. been traveling a lot. Well, you, your trip to Italy is going to be magic. It is. She says it'll be a huge trip, but you'll be so safe, and you'll just come back inspired and just so thankful that you went. So yeah, she'll give you signs all along the way that she's with you. Um, and you, did you get different suitcases for your travels recently? Yeah, did, yes. 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 <laughs> You spent way too much. <laughs> way too much. She says, what? <laughs> You're not going to the moon and you get these humongous bags. It was big. It was very big. Was She's big. like, you could spend a, a country in there. <laughs> She's teasing you about that. That was yeah. way too much. But yeah. that's okay. You have to live a little, she says. Um, <laughs> there's a little locket or a little, um, do you have a necklace that was hers or some like a little locket that she had kept? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I have. Yeah. We, all, we so both have stuff like Okay, her. well yeah, she's honoring that. And yeah. she says you don't need to wear that to feel close to her, but it's special when you do. Uh -huh. there, there's just certain occasions to do it. Right. Um, she shows me this zebra print too. I don't know if you have like some animal print. Well, then you get the chair. <laughs> no, I didn't get the zebra oh. chair. There's a zebra I, chair? I, I didn't get it. it <laughs> but I love animal print. For, yes, oh, yeah, she loves that too. She says, yes, yes, and she's talking about that, that particular print, and she was with you when you were considering that, but just, yeah, recognizing that for sure. <laughs> There's a birthday and anniversary in November, so around Thanksgiving, she's honoring that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she's recognizing that. Now, there's a last name that starts with an S, like Sanders um, or Simpson, something with an S, someone who's still here who's friends with the family or who's connected to the family. Do you have some neighbors who are like um, Sanders or... Um, um, 
Spillers? Spillers, Spillers. that's it. I was just going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Spillers and yeah. their neighbors. Yeah, okay. yeah, she says reach out to them, especially in the spring, like when you're out in the yard, just say hello to them. She said they're good neighbors. You're, you're very blessed. You're in a great neighborhood in a great area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she knows that. You're, she makes sure it's extra blessed with her light and her love. Um, there's, okay, now I'm talking to your father. I don't know if there was, a, um, like with his, with a headstone or with a family, was there like a little section in the cemetery that was supposed to be for the family and somehow it got split off or you were um, like rearranging it? No, it didn't get rearranged. Had things, had you put it in in a different order or was there something that got rearranged there? Well, it's uh, what, one would be buried on bottom, next person on top. Mm-hmm. Does, could that be? Had that originally been what you'd planned, or had you gone back and changed no, that? No, no, that's how it had been. It's not that. There's something different about the area. There was going to be a bench, and then you put it over on a different area. Something about that layout had been okay. changed. All right. You'll think of what it is. It's yeah. with the configuration uh-huh. of it. But what your dad says is, don't. He said, don't spend any time hanging out with dead people. They're boring. He says, you be with the living people. He's with the life section, <laughs> and he just is so. Like it's all about living, uh-huh. and he really wants you to remember that. Don't get sad about loss. Celebrate life, he says. There's a December. Now your dad's mentioning December. There's a birthday or an anniversary, something in that month. Besides okay. Christmas, that's kind of a right. big deal. Okay. Um, and he, okay, he shows me these wine bottles and the cork coming off. I don't know if you'd been having something where you were celebrating. Well, you're going to Italy, so there may be some wine drinking there. He's talking about uncorking things okay. or using little corks. Okay. Um, there's these stepping stones. There's like a walkway, too. Um, it's not at the cemetery. He's not talking about that. But had you built up a, like a little tumble of rocks in your yard or had a little bird bath that had stones around it that you'd built up? No, I didn't. I have to. You did? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's with, I mean, he's just, again, confirming that he watches over you. Your home is really, he, it's like a hub of activity. He says there's just it a is. lot of love yeah. and a lot of light there. And your dad's honoring that for sure. There's a like a golden-looking dog, too, who's with him. <laughs> it's her dog. Her golden <laughs> dog. Yeah, yeah, he's just <laughs> mentioning their presence, talking about them being around. I always said he would love the little one that I just got a few years ago. Yeah, he sent that one. It's just a neat connection there. So is Dad happy? Oh, he's very happy. He's Perfect. just very, I mean, he's real jovial, too. Really? Um, right. And he's so casual. That's the thing I like about him, too. He just, like, let it all, it's all okay. Uh-huh. It's all okay. There's no reason to get worked up. He's mentioning May. There's a birthday or there's an anniversary coming up in May. I don't know if you guys had talked about having a celebration or getting together for Mother's Day or something. We do Mother's Day and our mother died in May. And May, that's yeah, it. Right. And he, your dad is the one who says, do something special for her, but don't tell her. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even though she can hear. Yeah. Um, but he's acknowledging. That's his way also of recognizing her. Your dad says, because he couldn't have asked for a better mom for his children. Yes. And he couldn't have asked for a better partner for his life. Yes. And they are together, mm-hmm. which okay. is really, right. it's very beautiful. And she's now given him a slice of meatloaf because he said something nice. <laughs> I don't know if she made a lot of meatloaf or cooked a lot for she him. She did a lot with hamburgers. Yes, <laughs> yes. And she says, thanks, honey, and gives that to him. And then they're just smiling at each other. Oh, my God. <laughs> they're like right. little lovebirds, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, there's okay. Your father shows me um, a map of the United States. I don't know if you'd been um, like looking at different states you hadn't been to not too long ago, or if you'd gotten out a map. I was writing down where <laughs> where I have not been. The states, yes. He was there. He says, "Don't doubt his presence. He's with you all the time. He just loves you both so much." Really? I know. There's um, he shows me about real tall socks too. I don't know if you remember him like pulling up his socks. If he wore really tall socks, Always quite a bit. With the socks. His socks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't fall down anymore. He says that's one great thing about heaven. There's, there's no gravity, nothing sags. You pull them up and they're locked. <laughs> they stay right on up. <laughs> He's funny. Yeah. He's got a silly sense of humor. Yeah. Um, there's, he's also got, um, and I think you might have this, either you had had like a little, um, it looks like an accounting ledger. Did he have a little tin key machine that you remember him using sometimes? 
No, not him. Mom would have used She that. did. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's trusting her to that, but he's kind of joking because he always made sure everything was right, even though I know she could do it. And then there's a little, um, like a little checkbook or an account. That's what it is. Um, and she's mentioning that too. I don't know if you had paid um, some things using an account that you and she were on together. Or if you yeah, helped or Nancy, because Nancy took more of the... The financial, uh -huh, yeah. Right. Yeah, your dad thanks you both for helping out with that. Oh, um, cool. Especially when your mom needed that and all the support there. He says thank you for doing that. There was a house that had been like pieced out, or there um, like had to be sold off, or it changed hands. <laughs> and your yeah, yeah, and your dad says that's fine. That's fine. It's just part of how a family grows. Is that you let go and you move into new places, and you, it's all okay. Cool. He's very much at peace with all those decisions that you've made. There's an Ed, um, or Dean. There's a man with a D name who's with your dad, okay. who has passed. So either he had an Edward, or there was a Don. Um, well, there was Eddie. Eddie, yeah. Eddie, Eddie Hudson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're and friends. He, they, he was a very nice guy and friends. Yeah, well, they're part of the family. They're hanging out together. Okay. okay. I see your dad and Ed, and he says, "Here's That's Ed. That's perfect. We're together. No, yeah. no." There's a really long, like a car that's got a long front end to it, and it comes up to a point like that. It's like a dark blue or a black. I don't know if your dad had like a black. Oldsmobile that he drove for a while if there was um, did you have a black car you and your husband at some point or is mm. there a black car like a long black car that was yeah, in the no, family? Not that it's coming to me. You may think of what it is. Um, give me a minute because he's he's stuck on that car thing. Someone restored a car or did, did your kid had your kids talked about fixing up an old car or restoring a car? Not that I'm okay with a husband. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there was a Corvette mm -hmm. that was black. That had gotten fixed up or right. restored? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yes, that's right. what he's remembering and oh talking gosh. about for your okay. husband. Yes, absolutely. That's his way of, of just honoring him and again okay. connecting with that spirit. Um, you're just, he's so proud of you. He says you just do everything right. You really, really do. Cool. And he appreciates the, the differences between the two of you. Oh, he says, you're both his favorite. <laughs> <laughs> she was his favorite. <laughs> no, no, he's I saying, that. he says, and that's why he said that. Yeah. He said, you're both my favorite. Mm -hmm. He just loves you both. And sometimes, he says, sometimes certain personalities feel meshed and other personalities are a, a different kind of a blend. But he says, you're both my favorite, and I love you both so much. Cool. We uh, love him, too. Yes, and your mom, she sends her love, and Ruth, and I tell you, this Ed, he's a great guy, too. Oh, he is. Very loving, yeah. and just really there to, to boost the family, yeah. and to just encourage you. What a great family. Yeah. So they send their love. Oh, thank so you. We thank send ours you. back, too. Oh, it's great to talk with you. Thank you both so much. <laughs> thank you. There you go.